Hello. It is Wednesday, September 28th at 4.50 in the afternoon. I lost power about 30 minutes ago. If you hear beeping, that is our battery backup thing for our TV. It's like a power surge battery backup thing. I don't even think that it works as a battery backup. Anyway, um, long story short, I was about to log off for work or from work. I was about to log off, I was about done. Like 4.24 I think is when power went out. And I was in the middle of one thing and I'm so irritated because um, all of my monitors turned off. And I thought, oh no, I must have lost power. And that's exactly what happened. Um, so anyway, I lost power. I have no Wi-Fi. I have no cell signal, which is weird. I can't even get a call out to my boss. Um, I'm trying to like reset, restart my phone, see if that works. It is really windy outside and really rainy. I'm not going to go outside and start a generator right now. That's not a good idea. Um, so some developments, some things that have happened. Um, it has made landfall, I think, pretty sure. Um, I heard that earlier today. It seems like nobody really knows what's happening. <laughs> with it, how bad it's going to be, what it's going to be, when it's going to be here, or even where it's going to go. Um, so it's all just sort of like a guessing game. And I guess that's what's true for, that's true for all hurricanes. But this one seems to be especially um, ambiguous. And that's weird. So um, I'm trying to call my boss to tell him that I'm, I'm out of power. And I can't get a text or a call to go through. Um, but it's almost five. So, it's it's coming. Um, I'm not even sure what to do with myself right now. I think I might read a book. I'm really hungry and I would like to eat something. Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna heat or heat up. I'm not gonna turn on the generator or anything right now. I'm just gonna you know like sit tight and wait and see what happens. Um, if it comes back up, cool. Um, if it doesn't, well, we'll see what happens. So for now, I think that's my update. Um, I'm planning on updating you throughout the course of this event. I'm just going to make this sort of like a documentary, I guess, of what I, uh, what I do, what I learn, what I know, what happens throughout this hurricane. Um, not much happened until about 4.30 today. So sort of rainy, sort of drizzly, a little bit windy, but nothing really exciting or powerful happened earlier today. I filmed this morning, so the video that you saw on Thursday, and I did get that one up today, thank goodness, because otherwise I wouldn't have that up for you for, well, for me right now, current time, real time, is tomorrow, but for you watching this is last Thursday. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna take you outside, because I'm not going outside. But I can show you, maybe through the window, what it looks like outside, perhaps. So um, let me show you what it looks like outside, and I think that's gonna be my update for 4.30 p.m. on September 28th. You can't see it very well, but it is raining in literal sheets. Um, it is really coming down pretty hard out there. It's blowing up onto like these windows and we've got this covered porch here. It's pretty windy, um, pretty rainy. We don't have any flooding yet, but we are sort of up on a hill, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but it's coming. Okay, so you know how they say food is fuel? They're right, it is five. I'm looking at the microwave like I can tell what time it is. I can't tell what time it is from the microwave because it's not on. It's 5.12. I ate something. It was cold leftover fried rice from Bento, which was actually really, really good. I'm in the pantry. It is dark in here. Ooh. So, um, actually, let me come out here and tell you, you hear the beeping? Let me tell you why I'm in the pantry. So, we have, I told you about the battery backup. The beeping thing that I told you about earlier. Um, we have a battery backup for our TV. I've never used it for anything other than like a power surge protector thing. We keep, and like a power strip sort of thing. So we keep the TV plugged into it. 
right now I have my Wi-Fi router plugged into it. I can't get a text out to anyone. So um, let me go in there and show you what it looks like. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but let me show you. Okay, so I'm in the pantry. You can see we have K-cups over here. No, we do not have a Keurig anymore. Um, oh, it's only going to run for about... What? What? 300 minutes? Isn't, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so anyway. Thank you. So this is where our like Wi-Fi router thing is. It's in this little cabinet thingy. Typically that door is closed, but I have it open. So it just plugs in. Everything plugs into this power strip in here which plugs into that outlet right there but since we don't have power right now and I'm not going outside to turn the generator on I plugged it into this thing so I need to quickly get connected to the internet on my phone so I can get a message to my boss whole point of that being I can't I don't even have cell signal I'm not sure what's going on um, like I've been trying to make phone calls can't make phone calls I'm not sure what's going on it's not going to last very long, but I have a little bit of hope. So I'm going to send my messages really quick and then I'll catch up with you guys later. We are taking a little bit of a potty break. It is not currently raining right now. I'm filming this on my phone, um, but it's not raining at the moment. So it's really, really windy. But um, we just had dinner and then they like to come outside and go to the bathroom as soon as they eat dinner and I thought now's the perfect time because it's not raining right now. <laughs> anyway, um, so I think we feel good. I think we're about ready to go back inside. They've had a little bit of a snack with their lemongrass. So. There's your little update from 6.10 p.m. Okay, so we just came back inside. Sorry, forgive the windblown look. It's not on purpose. Um, so the clip you just saw was us outside in the wind. It's not currently raining right now. Um, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, so that phone call was from our power company to tell us that power is back on. And yes, I know. <laughs> it's been on for a few minutes. Not too terribly long, um, but it is currently 6.13 p.m. Yeah, 6.13 p.m. So we were not without power for very long. They did say in the pre-recorded message that I just received that um, the damage is very extensive. I'm not surprised at all, but um, they said if you're still without power, call this number, blah, blah, blah. They did not say that it's going to be turned back off. I mean... I understand some like whatever I don't know anyway it doesn't it does not matter okay it doesn't however power is back on in the name of keeping you fully updated <laughs> I have power again which is cool I am I was working on trying to find something to do I just don't know that I want to read a book right now I don't know I just I don't know I don't feel like it so I'm not gonna read so I was looking for something to do and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start on some sewing projects. I have some things that I want to do, like um, I'm going to cut out a piece of bed sheet, basically, for um, a new dog bed pillow. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You can hardly see it because it's dark in here because they don't have all the lights turned on, but this is basically a great big pillow that I made for a dog bed. And I want to make another one just like it because I actually have two spare covers right here. So it's nice to have a couple of spares because I can wash them anytime. The covers are all like interchangeable. They're, they're the same size and they actually do fit over Smokey's big purple dog bed. And yes, we do have the purple dog bed. None of that really matters, but my point is I'm going to make another one because the dogs, they don't fight over it. But the other one pouts when one of them is in it. So I feel bad, so I'm gonna make another one. So I need, what I need is I need to cut out basically a pillowcase to put pillow guts in. So that the, like, so, and then I'll sew that shut. So basically I'm gonna make a big pillow using a bed sheet and like our old pillows around the house 
because we are going to replace a bunch of the pillows around the house because they're just old and the dogs don't mind but i do um so then that pillow will go inside one of those bed covers because i can wash the bed cover but i can't wash the whole dog bed pillow anyway i'm gonna do that and then i've got a couple of other sewing projects i want to do so i think i'm just gonna get a head start on that because I don't need power to do those. So if I do lose power again, it's not gonna be a big deal. Anyway, that's my update for now. I will pick you guys up when I have something else to let you know about. It is now almost 11 o'clock at night. I look like a drowned rat because I basically am um, because the dogs decided that they wanted to go outside to go potty for bedtime. So we all went outside together. <laughs> so I am very wet. So are they, but they've been dried off. Um, mostly and they've had their cookies so it is bedtime i'm gonna sleep in the living room on the couch because yogi likes to sleep in what i call her box but it's her crate it makes her feel safe and secure and um she does not get nervous and pee on the floor if she's locked in her crate at night and if i sleep down here in the living room i can hear her if she wakes up in the middle of the night and gets nervous so um that's what we're gonna do tonight i'm gonna sleep on the couch obviously we still have power um, yeah, I, th I don't think I have anything else to update you on. What I did was, in the last, like, since the last time you saw me, um, I told you I was gonna do some, like, sewing craft things. Didn't do that. Instead, I watched the first three episodes of Andor, which is the, ne the newest, like, Star Wars show. I think it's the newest Star Wars show, I don't know. Um, it's about Cassie and Andor, like, the origin story. And I have conflicting thoughts. I've seen episodes one, two, and three. Episode four is available, but I didn't start it because I'm tired. Um, I think I like it. I did not like episode two. I liked episode one. Episode two let me down. Episode three was better. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's my update. I will pick you guys up in the morning. We'll see what happens tonight or maybe something will happen in the middle of the night. I don't know, but um, I'm going to try to get some sleep. Good morning. It is now morning. It's Thursday morning. I think it's almost 630. Um, I've been up for a while. Mom called me at, at 530 this morning. I finally fell asleep around 2-ish. Um, Went to bed last night, closer to 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And so I was trying to get some sleep because I do have to work today because we still have power and Wi-Fi, which is nice. Um, so I'll have to work today on about three hours of sleep, which is fu fun. Um, I'm making coffee. The dogs have been out. It's um, still sort of sprinkling outside. The storm is mostly passed. Um, it's sort of breezy, but nowhere near the way that it was last night around midnight, one or two o'clock, because that's when it was really, really bad here. Um, sort of what kept me up, kept the dogs up, so that also kept me up because they were awake, but um, they're so good. They've wanted to go out this morning to go to the bathroom, and they've both gone, and I mean, it's really nice out. I mean, it's not hot, not humid, uh, no lightning, it's not pouring rain, it's just a little breezy right now. Um, you can see, I was out with them, and I'm not wet <laughs> the way that I was yesterday. Um, so I'm making coffee, but there's your update for first thing this morning. So far, we're okay. Here's an update for outside. The pool is full. I think our screens all made it, actually, on the enclosure, which is pretty cool. There's a bunch of like grass and leaves all over that side, because it did kind of come at us from that side. So that part of the house was really pelted, but um, I've been looking at the radar and it looks like it's gonna kind of swing back around the storm. It's gonna recharge in the ocean and then come back, so. We may get hit again around 10 o'clock. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, time for another update. It is now eight o'clock, right at eight o'clock. I am booting up my computer to go to work because I have power and internet and some of the rest of the team does not. So um, my boss has asked me to come in early today. So I'm gonna go to work. I have had a little bit of time to assess 
some damage. Um, it looks like our pool enclosure made it. I don't see any, I mean, our rose bushes look like they made it. <laughs> I was really nervous about them last night, but I haven't been outside um, to like walk around the house, but I think we made it fine. So I'm gonna log on to work and I'll up you, update you guys later. Update time. It is now uh, 5.58 p.m., 6 p.m. on Thursday, the 29th of September. So most of the wind has died down. The rain is gone. I worked all day. Um, my boss actually told me to log off at 5 p.m. So I did. Um, I did have like a little bit of a power flicker um, right at like 10.30 this morning, but it came right back on and I didn't have any other problems after that. So I worked until five and then I took a shower. When I went upstairs, I checked all of the bedrooms up there, all of the windows. Um, I have checked the house and I have not seen any damage. That being said, when I went upstairs to my bedroom, um, my bedroom windows overlook like the neighbors to the like to the south of us and then of course behind us. So I can see their houses. Their houses look fine, but I got a clip of what their yards look like. Um, I have to say we're really lucky to be on this lot that we're on because it's on higher ground. My neighbor's yards are flooded. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip here. I got it on my phone, I didn't have my camera with me, but I'll insert that one here so you can watch that. For an update, I am sitting upstairs, basically in my bedroom window, and um, I. this is the first time I've come upstairs since last night. The first time I've seen this. That is all standing water. That is standing water. That is standing water. And this is standing water in our neighbor's like front yard slash pasture. I may have uttered some expletives when I came upstairs and looked out this window and saw this. Um, wow. Wow. Is there anything else that I could say? No? I mean, we are so lucky. We're so lucky. So like I said, we're really, really lucky. <laughs> we don't have any damage to the house that I have seen yet. Um, and all of the windows were closed. None of them are like leaking water or anything, which makes me very, very happy. Um, I'm hungry. I'm also going to start having some wine because what else do you do after a hurricane? Like I, I didn't drink last night. I didn't, well, I had a drink. Okay. I didn't drink heavily last night. I had one drink because I thought if I do need to evacuate, I don't want to do it and fight my own stupidity. <laughs> so I tried to, you know, be alert and aware last night. Tonight, I think we're okay. So I'm gonna have some wine tonight. I've also made myself a little charcuterie board. I've got some like taco meat that we made last weekend and some cheese and some crackers. And like, I'm really excited about this. And I think I'm gonna finish what's available on and of Andor six o'clock yeah i'm gonna watch the fourth episode of andor and then i'm gonna try to watch football tonight it is bengals dolphins on thursday night football and if you had told me years ago hey thursday night football is gonna be bengals dolphins i probably would have said mm, i'll make plans to do something else um i'm excited about this game of course by the time you're watching this it's gonna be over but i think it's gonna be a nice way to pass the evening so that is my plan um, I'm not gonna give you a whole lot of updates just because, um, I'm gonna have a nice evening here by myself. It's not very often that I get to have the house to myself and mom is still at the hospital. Um, I'm really tired. I got about three hours of sleep last night and I worked today and it's just like the emotional toll, I guess. Um, I wasn't scared you know, and I still am not scared. It's just a lot of stress and concern and that gets to you after a while. So I'm excited to watch some football tonight, have a really nice relaxing evening, but I'm probably gonna put the camera down. And unless something really like big or exciting or something happens, probably won't pick you up until tomorrow. So hopefully 
signing off for the night. But I guess we'll both find out. So goodbye for now. Good morning, or should I say afternoon because it is now 12.07. I like good day. It's Friday. Um, I did not vlog this morning. Nothing exciting happened last night. Um, I slept on the couch again to keep the dogs company. I slept on the floor again. Somebody came home this morning. I thought she was gonna be stuck at the hospital. Till tonight. Until tonight. I thought she was gonna have to work today, and she's not. We were told that if another physician or nurse practitioner were to show up, that we were allowed to go home, so. There's Yogi. Um, I got dressed, I don't know why. Um, I just went upstairs and put some clothes on. Um, I'm on my lunch break right now from work. I should be done around five. I would say let's go out to dinner, but I don't know that anything is gonna be open. Well, and the, the places that are open need to be able to feed the people that don't have power. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because there's a lot of people in the area that don't have power and some people that don't have power that can't even get out of their neighborhoods because of the flooding. Right. I wonder how many I wonder how many restaurants lost power and how much food at restaurants is spoiled has now. Gone to waste. And we've got food in the fridge, so we're probably just going to stay home tonight. I don't know. Do you have anything else you want to tell them because I don't know that I'm going to continue this vlog. We'll start another <laughs> one tomorrow. Well, we did really well. Um, our roof stayed on, our enclosure stayed intact. The dogs didn't have a meltdown. We still have a fence. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of little electronic things that I think may have gotten fried by the power surges. The sprinkler and power, system. Power dips and, you know, who knows what else we'll find that's not working. But I think we were really relatively unscathed and extremely fortunate. And I really appreciate everybody's, you know, well wishes and kind thoughts. That's very true. You guys have been, like, phenomenal. messaging me, leaving comments. I am so... Yeah, um so touched. Yeah touched surprised that you guys would reach out to us individually and you know make sure try to make sure yeah. that we're okay we're fine we made it yeah and we're really lucky we are very very fortunate there and we know we're fortunate there <laughs> and there's still two fortunate ding dongs yeah they're happy so and the cat's a snob the she's fortunate but she's a snob she's lucky but she doesn't know it so. <laughs> anyway i think that's going to be it for this vlog we're going to continue to vlog probably throughout the weekend but it won't be in this video it'll be a different one because we might go out and do something fun yeah, this weekend. She looks pretty the rough house. for sleeping on the couch and I look pretty rough for <laughs> sleeping on the floor the last two nights. We feel pretty rough because she's been sleeping on an air mattress and I've been sleeping on a couch that is not comfortable. But I did get better sleep last night. I fell asleep closer to like midnight and woke up around six. Well, so it was more of, than three hours. A night of insomnia and no sleep and worry. You usually will sleep a little bit better the next night. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's going to be it from us for today. We're okay. We made it through. We're really, really lucky. We're praying for everybody who is not as lucky yeah. as we are. Poor Naples and that whole area. Oh, we used to go there Cuba. every year. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's right now, I think as we're taping this, it's hitting the other shore, mm -hmm. the other shoreline. Yeah, north of here. Jacksonville, Georgia. It was past Georgia. Jacksonville. It's, well, was, Jacksonville got hit. South Carolina. South Carolina and Georgia are getting hit now, too. So. Yeah. Anyway, you will see us in another video really soon. And goodbye, Ian. Don't come back. <laughs>